Don Barnes here with Red Barnes Audio. And today we're gonna to talk about something that came up in our Facebook audio rescue group. So if you're not a member, find us in the notes, join. But we had a situation where a client had sent an editor a set of FLAC files and he wanted them converted to WAVE and he was pulling them in manually and doing it. So you could use the batch processing facility in RX to elegantly solve this issue. So let me show you how to do that. First thing you choose, file, batch processing. It's kind of hidden there, you never see it. And normally what I'll do is choose add and then I'm gonna name it something. You double click on this untitled here and we'll just cleverly call this batch convert. And there we have that. Now normally you could choose the lazy man's way to do it and that's add files, go work your tree, find the folder, add the files. I'm too lazy. I'm usually working on a dual monitor setup and I might have this window set up on the other monitor, but whatever, go grab the files. I'll multi-select a few here. I drag them in and now my files are in there. And this, like I said, that would usually be on another screen for me. And we'll just show it here. In this case, we don't wanna process anything. We're just gonna convert these. So I wanna keep in the same file name and I'm gonna choose that. Normally you don't wanna keep the same file name, but all I think is gonna happen here is when it's done processing, it's gonna end up with instead of .flac, it's gonna be .wave. In this particular case, if you wanna set some options, you can. I choose process and presto, easy bake oven. If we look back in the folder, you'll see there are our WAV files and they were converted and you can see those are, those are really short WAV files, but it converted them quickly, it did them simultaneously. So we'll do one other thing here. If I had one, oh, I missed a file, say, I didn't put the last one in here. Well, it's really hard, I drag that in there. I'll take these other ones and get rid of them and then process that again. And because I already had the process set up here, it did the same thing again. And then I would go back and see that my other file is there. Really easy, great thing. Now I use, I use this for all sorts of things. And I'm not gonna go through every detail, but I will tell you this. This is a very powerful process and a very powerful tool that as you develop over time, there's some things that you do to almost every file. Maybe you set a high pass and a low pass filter. I do that with every file that comes in that I'm gonna process for somebody. My own stuff, things for other people. I take out the lows, I take out the highs, the things that aren't gonna make it through, but I do it through a batch process because I do it every time. And what you can do is set up presets in the equalizer, or if you choose to, you can use custom settings and there's a way to go through and view it and record those. And, and so this is very powerful. Look this up in the help system, or I'll do a session just on batch processing and show what I do in the bigger batches later. But for today, we just wanted to show, you can take this, you can use it. Once you have it set up, you could drop 100 files in there and then choose process and it'll have them done in no time for you. So a real simple tool, a great tool, and something you can save a tremendous amount of time if you learn how to use this properly. It takes a few minutes to learn the first time. After that, repeat, rinse, do it again, over and over, easy peasy. We'll talk to you later. And if you haven't joined us on Facebook, go out to facebook.com slash groups slash audio rescue and be sure to join us. And you can put questions up there. There's a lot of super helpful, very smart, very experienced people in that group. So join us, ask questions, see how we can all get the most out of RX. I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.